With Modern Warfare 2's launch, 51 weapons are up on deck, and if you're short on time, what should you be using to do well? What weapons should you rank up that might be the easiest to rank up, or perhaps maybe you should rank up before they get nerfs if there are any inbound? What are the top 10 weapons from launch? Today, we're running down those so you can jump in and hopefully do as best as possible. As we go along, drop your thoughts below. Anything that you think makes this list that we didn't quite talk about, anything you're really enjoying out of this list, whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoy the video, you'll find it at all insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2. We're chasing down 600,000 subscribers, and I'd be really curious to see how far we can push towards that before the launch of Warzone 2 and DMZ here in a couple of weeks. So if you're part of that over 70% of viewers who are not subscribed, I'd love to have you in the community if you'd like to join. For now, though, let's jump into the top 10 weapons of Modern Warfare 2 right now. So as a preface, this is in no real particular order. Some weapons perform better in certain situations compared to others. Maybe one time you want to take an M4 over a RAL. Maybe some situation you want to take a submachine gun over a medium-ranged rifle. So bear that in mind, we're just talking about general top 10s here. And additionally, we'll have a few honorable mentions afterwards, but we'll get there. To start, let's start out with the one that is the most basic here. Of course, one of the ones that is one of the default weapons, the M4. Now, the M4 is as it was in Modern Warfare 2019, a very easy weapon to pick up and use. Whether you're a veteran player or this is your very first time picking up Call of Duty, it's a weapon that you can perform well with. And one of the big reasons why it is something that is so powerful right now is that well, if you have the Vault Edition, you have every single attachment already unlocked, so you can make this thing a top tier build as soon as you end up unlocking Creative Class at level 4. So where other weapons you have to rank up and get attachments unlocked, and potentially in some cases you have to rank up different versions of different guns to get certain attachments, this one you can jump right into and make a great build right out of the gate. So for that, mixed with its versatility, stopping power, and overall ease of use, absolutely it's in the top 10 here. After that, I'm going to go with the TAC-56, and again, this is one that you might also be able to jump into immediately with with a decent build. If you play the beta, you got to level 30 in the beta. You have the Frontal Impact Blueprint, which comes along with a couple of different attachments, but again, it beats starting with the weapon bear. Now, honestly, for how powerful this weapon is, I'm actually really surprised at how easy it is to control with a recoil too. The attack doesn't kick up all that much, and again, if you kit it out, it's very easy to control. Combine that with 30 rounds and actually pretty decent mobility here for a rifle, again, it's a weapon that I would highly recommend you definitely try out. Beyond that, we're going to talk about a couple of different rifles before we move over into other aspects and areas of the game. Next, we're going to talk about the Kastov 74U, and this one being your sort of AK-74U variants here in the rifle category. This one's beautiful, honestly. Like this, if you played with the 74U in prior games, you know that it's been designated as an SMG in the past. And yes, thanks to the comments here in the past, I do know that, of course, the 74U can be a rifle. So I'm not saying that it's misdesignated or anything like that. But I'm saying that the properties that you may be used to in regards to SMG play kind of carry over here within the rifle play for the 74U. This, I would say, is probably the most mobile of the rifles. So if you're a player that likes to run and gun, you're a player that likes to be zooming around the map, this is the one for you. Plus, it has incredible stopping power. It is something that packs an absolute punch. Over distance, it might not be something that fares as well as other rifles or other LMGs, but it is something that from that close to mid-range, you're going to be very hard-pressed to end up beating this rifle. So for that, absolutely give it a try. And finally, rounding out the rifle category, I'd say the Kastov 7.62. This one having some pretty solid mobility as well. It felt like it had a bit better range than the 74U, but still, again, packing that punch. Not to mention, it's incredibly easy to control. All you gotta do is just simply pull down on your right thumbstick. The recoil is relatively easy to mitigate, and so therefore, at that point, you kinda got a laser. You mix in a headshot, and you got an incredibly fast time to kill on this. And for that, I really enjoyed playing around with this one. Definitely give that a shot. Moving along next, I'm gonna talk about some battle rifles as well as marksman rifles. The first one that I want to talk about is the SPR-208. Now this one you've probably seen plenty of clips of and you know exactly why it's here. It has incredible damage at a distance, very solid bullet velocity, so leading your shots at a very extreme distance isn't really going to be something you need to account a whole ton for as opposed to other weapons. But then up close, it's still an absolute powerhouse. This thing will shred through enemies, and I've seen the jokes of it's the best shotgun in the game, and kind of believe that. You can kit this out to end up having one of the fastest ADS speeds as well, so truly, if you're a snappy shot, you have good accuracy, this is the gun for you right now. 
Beyond that, I'm gonna jump back to the battle rifles of the TAC V. Now, this, the battle rifles, they're defaulted to semi auto. But if you're not aware, they can go full auto and you basically have a Scar H variant here of the TAC V whenever you put it into full auto. It packs a punch, only has 20 rounds, but still, it's basically like taking that TAC 56, adding a little bit more beef to the shot and adding a little more power to it, but still packing a ton of punch and you will breeze through this. I think this is probably the easiest of the battle rifles to rank up in my opinion, and I had a blast the entire time through with it. Now, moving on a little further, we're gonna talk about a couple of SMGs. To me, the SMG category is pretty well balanced in it of itself not saying against the rifles battle rifles lmgs and stuff it really is super balanced but if you're looking for an smg a lot of these you really can't go wrong with i'd say maybe the mx9 and the hurricane are probably your actually weakest links here with this before these two i'd firstly recommend the fennec while it has at base default not a ton of ammo to work with once you kit it out once you end up start leveling it it seriously will pack a punch and that fire rate shreds through enemies if you played with this in the beta you absolutely know what it is capable of so give it a shot. And beyond that, the Lockman sub is the other SMG that I'd probably say is one of the easiest to pick up and use right now and is maybe in that best category. This, of course, you need to get the 5.56 up to level 12. So it is something that takes a little bit of time. You got to go through that 7.62, then the 5.56, then get the Lockman sub. So this one takes a little bit more time to unlock if you don't necessarily want to do it. Again, just go for that Fennec. That's its own base weapon. You don't really have to rank up any other weapon to get. You just have to get to the level of unlocking it. But that's your SMGs that I would recommend here. Then, finally, rounding out the weapons, the Rowl LMG has the best damage at a distance, and it packs an absolute punch, man. Give this one a try if you guys have not done so already. I've been ranking up the LMGs. Honestly, had a lot of fun with the Icarus, the HCR, and the Saken, but the Rowl MG, just give it a try. I think it definitely deserves its place here in this. And finally, rounding out the top 10 that I would say, surprisingly... I'm gonna recommend a pistol here with this. The P890 is, for whatever reason right now, a two-shot, seemingly at any distance. I ended up getting mapped by this thing on Mercado day one or two, so absolutely give this a try while it is still the powerhouse of a pistol. I kind of assume this one is going to get a nerf by at least requiring another shot, maybe two, once some weapon tuning rolls in, but for right now, give it a go. Now, beyond that, again, we talked about some honorable mentions. There absolutely are some here at this. For me, I'd say other pistols while we're in this category, the 50GS and the Basilisk, if you can end up being accurate, these are one-shot headshots up until like 15, 20 meters, if I'm not mistaken. So you can absolutely pack a punch and roll through enemies here with that if you are accurate. I think the 5.56 Icarus in the LMG category is probably up there as well as one of the easiest to use weapons and still able to do well. For my sniping friends, I'm loving the MCPR 300. And then also that SAB in the Marksman category is incredibly good as well so if you don't like the top 10 we just listed again those are some honorable mentions that you can do incredibly well with still but i want to give you guys that information so that is where we're going to wrap it up that is my pick for the top 10 weapons right now within modern warfare 2 i'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below do you guys agree with this list have anything you'd add to it subtract whatever the case drop your thoughts but if you enjoyed the video you found it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on the video and if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so don't miss a single thing running all things modern warfare 2 we're chasing down 600 000 subscribers and i'd love to have you in the community but for now thanks so much for watching go try these weapons out and hopefully do really well with them i'll see you later take care and peace